Hi, I'm Claire and today I just want to have a quick look at the reading goals and challenges that I set myself for the year 2015, see what I achieved, what I didn't achieve, and then set myself some new goals for 2016. So I had five reading goals and challenges for 2015 and the first one was to do the Goodreads challenge and read 50 books in the year. I ended up reading 51 books in 2015. In general, I'm glad that I managed to complete the challenge that I'd set myself. What I'm really happy with with this year's reading is kind of the balance that I had in my reading of uh, my preferred genre of adult science fiction and fantasy and other things like graphic novels, young adult, non-fiction. Because I do read things that aren't adult science fiction and fantasy fairly regularly, I end up at the end of the year with far fewer books in my preferred genre than what my goal on the challenge was. Last year I read 50 books, but I only read about 20 books that fall in my favorite genres, and that's just not really enough. I don't mean that in terms of feeling guilty about what I've read or not read or whatever, I just mean that there are so many more books than that that I wish I could read. I need to work on being able to read more because I need to grow that amount of sci-fi and fantasy books that I'm reading without upsetting the balance that I've actually quite enjoyed this year between things that are specifically genre fiction and just other things in general. The second goal that I set myself for 2015 was to do the British Books Challenge which was organized by Michelle over at Bookish Brits and this challenge was to try and read one book by a British author or an author who lives in the UK every month and my notes for that just say lols because I did not do that at all. I thought that it would be so easy because I do own a lot of books by British authors. I want to read all of the books that I own, but because I wasn't really paying attention to specifically what I was reading, I didn't end up picking these books up. It's too bad that I didn't really stick with this one, however I don't think I'm going to be doing that goal again next year because I think uh, there are things that I want to prioritize over that. My third goal was actually two things and the first one was to buy fewer books because I have a lot of books and the second part of that goal was to not buy extra credits on Audible. There is a button that says buy three extra credits now and I am always, always, always tempted to buy those and it's just a bit too much of a luxury when I've got so many books already at home that need to be read. I think actually I did pretty well. Um, I slowed down my book buying quite a lot and the Audible credits I did buy once or twice but it was actually a lot less often than before so I'm quite happy with that and I'm going to try to keep to that in the coming year. By the way, when I say that I bought fewer books in 2015, I do not mean in the month of December because I bought a lot of books in December. My fourth resolution for 2015 was to do a TBR jar. I had a little jar filled with slips of papers that had the names of books that I own written on them. And the point was to pick out a book every month and read it to kind of diminish the amount of unread book on my shelves. And I also did not complete that goal at all. I completely forgot about the jar and when I found it again when we were uh, putting things in boxes to move I told myself look don't be ridiculous you've not been doing this uh, you're not going to be doing it in a new place so I got rid of the jar. And I'm a tiny bit annoyed at myself for this one because I feel like I should have been able to at least do one or two and I'm also a bit sad that the TBR jar thing didn't work for me because it does seem to work for a lot of other people on booktube but I'm just I find it really hard to read something once I've been told by the jar you must do this and that's something I'm working on because I really do want to be setting TBRs for myself but yes the, the jar was a bit too random a bit too hit and miss for me I think. 
And my fifth and final goal for 2015 was to read before bed. The idea being to just make more time for reading, go to bed a bit earlier, relax and de-stress without looking at a screen. And that's another one I completely failed at. But this one is one that I'm quite sad about because I think if I could do it, it would be genuinely really good for me. And it is always how I used to read when I was younger and I really enjoyed it. However, right now it's just something that I know I will not keep to if I give myself that goal again so I'm not going to. I'm going to slightly modify that goal for next year. So I guess on paper I didn't do too well given that I've only got one goal I achieved, one yes kind of maybe and three that I did not. So what that tells me is that for next year I've got to uh, figure out goals that work better for me. <laughs> so the goals that I've decided to go for in 2016 are as follows. First, again the Goodreads challenge, but I am upping the ante this time. I'm not going to set myself a goal of 50 books. I have, in fact, already set myself a goal of 100 books in 2016, and I am kind of terrified about this one because I think it's the right thing to do for me, but I think it might be a little bit tricky. The reason I think it's even possible for me to read 100 books in 2016 is that I had two big reading slumps this year. I read a book that really really annoyed me but at the same time I loved it and I couldn't stop thinking about it just before we moved house and this plus that really meant that I wasn't in the right headspace for reading and I kind of didn't read anything for a couple of months and then again in November with the stress of NaNoWriMo and trying to work on my novel I just fell into a giant vortex of fan fiction and that was awesome I read a lot I read a lot of words in November and December, they just don't go on my Goodreads challenge because they were thick. But if I managed to read 51 books in 2015 in the span of 9 or 10 months instead of 12, I can probably read a lot more than that in actual 12 months. The other thing is that when I set myself this challenge in 2015, I could walk to work, which was very fortunate for Inside London. However, it also meant that I couldn't really like read a book and walk at the same time. I mean, I did sometimes, but it wasn't the best time for it. And now I have a much longer commute that involves sitting on trains. So if I make sure that is more reading time for me, then I think I can hit that goal. And that's actually my second reading goal for the year. It's maybe more of a resolution, but it is to read on my commute. And this one is uh, basically taking the goal of reading before bed from last year and converting it. It's a goal of taking a specific chunk of time and assigning it to reading, except this time it's going to be my commute. I'm not the best at reading on my commute at the moment, not just because it's crowded and unpleasant, but also because I'm absolutely, absolutely not a morning person, so my morning commute I tend to be still a bit drowsy and grumpy because I have to be out of bed, and then on my commute back home, all I can think of is getting home and getting into comfy pajamas. <laughs> I want to try and make better use of that time because I have to spend it, so why not? My third goal is going to stay the same as last year and it will be to buy fewer books and to not click that get three extra credit now link on Audible. And I am going to start by not really buying books in January or February because I have so many books that I have bought or been given in December. It is ridiculous. I've got a big book haul coming for you in the next week. My fourth goal for 2016 is to finish the books that I start. And I don't mean finish books that I don't like. I mean if I'm reading a book and I'm really enjoying it and I want to finish it, but I kind of start to put it down and drift away from it, just keep reading it because I do that a lot. There's like five or ten books that I could name from the past year that I kind of started and read, you know, 10, maybe 50 pages off and then I kind of like put them down and it makes no sense. I don't know why I do that. I guess I have a really short attention span. My final goal for 2015 is to read more diversely, to read more books from authors of of color or authors from other countries or authors with different sexualities in mind. Generally read more books by people that are not mostly the same as me and it's something that I've been thinking about for the past few years but I've never really 
recorded it I've never really made an effort to track and so this year I want to make an effort to track and kind of see where I'm at so that's pretty much it for my goals and resolutions for my reading in 2016 tell me in the comments if you've made some resolutions or goals for the next year and if you're on Goodreads let me know if you're doing the challenge what you've set it as and feel free to add me as a friend on there as well if you'd like to see more from me check out the sidebar right here for more videos and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button for more videos from me every week. I've been Claire, thanks so much for watching and see you soon.